because you know the heavy trucks are coming. Right. So it's make it even better because it's going to it's going to have a, a heavier weight weight on it. And with the conditional use permit, you can always threaten revocation if they don't comply. Mm -hmm. That's the very best way to have handled it. And shouldn't the solicitor have, have advised that ahead of time? He did. They just didn't follow it. A lot of that well, he did. We tried, but we can only have a conditional use hearing. We have zoning ordinance, guys. Huh? Yeah, but she and, uh, recommended. Not yeah. what I mean. She recommended. The planning commission. That, yeah. Recommended that to make it much, make bring the road up before they started on it, and you guys turned it down. I, I think it was always my recommendation to be inspected and stabilized. That one got out of hand. No yeah. question. Because Range's road looks really nice, and Columbia Gas is, looks terrible. I know. But Gary, well, Range knows what to expect. So what, Columbia is just out poor of road builders? And out of most townships that... But you're still a solicitor whether it's Range or Columbia yeah. Gas, and it's still the same township. But I... <laughs> yeah, do, but, do you see what I'm saying here? But I think if you look at what the Planning Commission and the supervisors approved, we, we did... The Planning Commission doesn't point, approve anything. A, yeah, the but they had, a full, you, they had a full presentation. They we did. came up with a number of bullet points of conditions that they needed to meet. And when they started playing games, the very first thing we did was we instructed the police on the chief to shut it down. That's what got their attention. But they still haven't have brought it up to... But the, they let them open it back up. But the worst of it was, is I remember whenever you sat up there and you told them they weren't going to be able to go when school buses were, or busy times, and they had to have signs up. You went down this whole big long list. You remember that list? Yeah. And whenever it came down to it, it was never made them to do that. A township had never made them do that. I got it in writing. I'm, it's not to me to enforce it. What do you have in writing? You're state, right. State, state, well, oh, it was the motion, the it motion was is in writing. It both meetings. With all the points that Darren just referred to. But so it, it's up to Ed. To, that's why I asked Ed. Have, are they living up to what they promised? He said they were. No, what he said was. I just have to. In the road. Pardon me? <laughs> Did you, and that, when, you, when he asked you that, you, said, you mentioned about all the trucks going and everything, but, I mean, they're obviously not, because of all the ways. Well, that's what I'm saying, because they, I don't know. They, all I can do is depend on the police department and the road department to monitor every day. But if you had conditional mm -hmm. use hearings, you still would only depend on the road department and the police department, correct? And the engineer. Right. So is he magic, still... but how's he... <laughs> He That's where the ball got dropped. The, the engineer did not review this road situation and give a report. That's what didn't happen. That's the missing part here. No, it did. When, we, when they started up there, bus, myself, Phil, we walked that road with that company. We discussed it, changing pipes. They paid for the pipes. I went over this before. We put them in. They paid, out, they paid everything. The ball got dropped. Because nobody knew they were bringing all that dirt off of that hill. Liquor. That caused the problem. All these they never told us that. Home. They never even indicated that they could possibly do this. And they, yes. they never indicated yes. they and would it, use the other half of the road. It yeah. ended up being 200 trucks a day. From they have to have a heavy hauling permit? 200. They need a heavy Imagine running on that road. Do they not need a heavy hauling they permit to do that? Yeah, they have they wanted the road, didn't they? Then yeah. why didn't you revoke it when they began? They got a bond for that truck to run up over the old no license on. That's uh, Army Park truck. West. That's not Columbia. Yeah. They're going on the Columbia job, isn't it? That's Carry Mark West on. pipeline. Mark West is Mark West. Where's he going up over the hill at then? I don't know where he's running the line from. Yeah, I thought he's going back to their thing. All I'm saying is they have not been honest or good neighbors. They're terrible. Right. And they were really rude to you as well. Yeah. Incredibly. Yeah, they were pretty rude tonight. Garrett, yeah. Yeah. Garrett, JD. Is heavy um, a couple of things. Um, what we, she, she's I, I, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Is a heavy hauling permit different from a road bond permit? Are they two separate things or are they one and the same? They're, they're one and the same. They are. Okay, I just didn't know. It's I a didn't, yeah. Okay, I didn't know because I know we have heavy hauling permits and then I saw road bonds. But they kind of weren't there's, the same. There's some I mean, went, they're, okay, so they're the same. Okay. JD, a um, couple things just to summarize it. I do remember I was at that meeting when Jerry is the one that made the motion, the planning commission that was in front of them, to hold them, Columbia, to stabilize, improve, and widen the road. Make it passable, improve it before the approval for the compressor station. 
I know that was, um, that subject was discussed at the Planning Commission and at one of the supervisors meeting quite some time ago. Um, that was, I think that went before you guys. Also, I, I think the, the point Bob and Darren was trying to make, and correct me if I'm wrong guys, um, I understand that what you're saying that they're paying for your man hours and the machine. The point is, there's a lot of township work, as you say, that needs done, that that's pulling you guys away from, like their own, that's fine if they're paying for it, but you still got time away from stuff that you need to be taken care of in the township other than that, instead of being their own practical contractor or being in the rental business, and you got wear and tear on the machine. And the other point I believe what they're trying to make is that, yes, you would have to ditch that road normally, maybe, forget them, back up to previous to Columbia being there. How often do you do it? Once a year or? Try to do it once a year. You know what I'm saying? But with all the heavy hauling, all the traffic and that, you've had to spend how many more man hours and do it how more often. You know, it's just tying you guys up. I think that was, was that the point you guys were trying to make in a nutshell? Yeah. When you said that, it made more sense to me. Well, <laughs> they paid us one weekend to work up there. Uh, you know, paid the township, not us personally, but no, they paid the township. We went up there and did work on the weekend. We don't work Saturday and Sunday unless it's pouring down snow for you. So did we take away from anything of another road? No, we didn't. No. no, you didn't. But then, but I'm just it. saying that it's still in the whole scheme of things. Every time you hear about, well, you guys had to go up there and do such and such, and this whole thing is getting to be a. It's not just with them, it's with Range, it's with Mark West. I'm always out chasing some one of these guys around. And do I like it? Hell no, I don't like it. I want to be out there working with the rest of the guys. It's quieter, it's more peaceful, and you don't have all the aggravation. Right. But somebody's got to do it. And I do it. And I try to do the best I can for all you people. Right. Well, the only thing that keeps coming back to mind is whenever that guy from Columbia was sitting here and he said, how much under budget? I can't remember. It was almost like... 600000 under budget on what he actually paid to what they allotted for it, which made me wonder. Maybe they figured they were going to have to pay more, and they didn't. And I wonder why we're getting, why we're getting so much done at such a less, less cost to the township. That's one of the reasons that keeps coming back to mind. Well, one of the things in one of the meetings, I don't know, I don't remember what our family would know. What do they have to put in that escrow? $3,000 or something? 3000 for hauling, 1000 for boring, or 1000 for <coughs> and I'm And I told them, I said, that's not enough. So they put $25,000 yeah. in there. He did say that. Yeah. 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 And they put $25,000 in there, and we, we loaned them some road signs. They ran them over. They're going to replace that. <laughs> if they don't, it's coming out of their $25,000. i got a list of stuff that, you know, they're going to owe the township for it that we can pull right out of that $25,000, and we're covered. Well, that's definitely helped. I mean, I'm, you know, I look out for you people. I'm one of you. And when well, I'm, I'm not trying work, to beat you up. I'm just making sure we don't get beat up. What I'm trying to say is that road has to be put back. Uh, they know they got a car shipped down to your place and coming up the other end. they got to repair all that and fix all that. Whether we do it or they do it, it's got to be fixed. And the only thing I like to do the ditches for is because I know they're done. I don't like stone in my ditches. All that does is collect debris and put the water out on the road. So if I can pull that damn stone out of there when they're done, i got a nice ditch for water to run and get into the pipe. I like it at the end of the pipe. I like to put stone. It stops the erosion. You know, it slows the water down. That's where it needs to be, not in front of the pipe. You know, and that's just things that I got to work on. But we're strapped in this township. We're, you know, with these slips coming up and stuff, it takes some time and it, it pulls away from other things. But you know, can I leave Mealy Road hanging and go do something else? Yeah. You know, when you start a project, you sort of committed to it. You got to stay there until it's finished. And when that one's done, move to the next one. Or if not, you've got a lot of irons in the fire and nobody to put them out. Any more public comment on the items on the agenda? I, good. Good one. Uh, a little later on, the uh, voting on Mark Gordon getting more hours, and um, I don't know how these things get put in the agenda, but um, I don't. I disagree with that. I'm not going to have a vote, but I'm going to express my opinion because I'm going to vote in November to fire him. And um, I don't see where giving him more hours 
uh, to bother people that um, uh, resent the code enforcement officer in the first place. You know, human nature, well, never mind with that. I just don't think that this is a, uh, a proper request on the agenda for someone to be looking for more hours, more money, when it was just stated that we've got money problems and, and uh, maybe that would be something like that should how, be put how away. he's going to be able to do it. He ran through his schedule here one night when he showed up. And he's already working 80 hours a week or something. Yeah. He hasn't been back to a week since then. Yeah. Any other public comment? Approval of the minutes are submitted for approval May 10th and May 15th, 2000, or January 1, 2017. June 1. June 1. So Sorry. Hey, Dave? Yes. Doug? Yes. Zach? Yes. Do you have any announcements? No. Additions to the agenda. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to reject all bids uh, that were received on the maintenance building and notify the uh, bidders of such. In light of changes to the scope of in light work. Of, yeah, in light of changes to the scope of work on the building. Second. Any questions? Any vote? Yes. Doug? Yep. Zach? Yes. Second motion to um, rebid the maintenance building project as two packages, uh, one of the shell and the second as the concrete work. And, and to authorize the uh, township engineer to prepare yes. the appropriate specs? Yes. To prepare the specs and place the advertisement. I have a question on that. Is that wait, you can't do that. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, I'll second that. Go ahead. Question. Is that, is that a change? Wasn't it originally going to have a gravel floor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Yeah. So, the, so the, Temporary. you're adding the concrete now? Yes. As a separate bid, separate item. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? How you doing, Dave? Yes. 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 We're taking the plot with all the growth they have bottom of the road. Okay. Um, next motion is going to require a, a question, Tammy. Uh, how much funds do we have in the Dry Ridge Waterline Project? I don't know. Really Um, I'd like to make a motion that we um, contact Washington County uh, Redevelopment. Redevelopment Authority or Nation of Boytech and uh, inquire and move, if, 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 if appropriate, those funds to a um, capital equipment project in the township. Second. Any questions? How you vote? Dave? Yes. Zach? Yes. Doug? Yes. Okay, um, add on that road reprofiling. Re and you want that? We take that as part of the liquid fuels budget and and supplement that with either, John, it can be really a VX13 at this point because we don't know what's coming in. But we could supplement it with just some general fund if necessary. Is that an important enough project that needs to take priority over any of the tar and chipping that we normally might be doing? Well, I cut back on some tar and chipping I know that. Here for the so we could have a little extra money for the uh, reprofiling. Mm -hmm. But like I discussed before, if we got all these roads cupping and everything, and there's nothing we can do with the reprofiling. Is the only thing we can do, and it costs money to do it. But I'm talking to the Finleys that had the coal to do theirs, and they're saying five to seven years they haven't had to touch the road. You know, shoot it with some oil to keep up on the dog coat, but they're having good luck with it. And I said, you know, we've always been behind the eight ball. I'm trying to slow the inches to get us up with the eight ball. And 
if we don't start getting caught up with times and trying some different stuff, we're left in the dark. I mean, it's going to cost money to get us there. I mean, everything's cost anymore. I mean, it's just ridiculous what things cost. Boss, have you had any experience with the reprofiling? You know anything about it? With what? The reprofiling, would he grind it? Grind off the pumps on no. the road? Yeah, they want to do it. What they do is uh, they grind the whole road. They re um, and they use that material to put back on, right? Yeah, they lay right down behind yeah. the machine and they add an emulsion oil. This company adds emulsion oil with it, with the mix. Um, and then they lay it back down, sheeps put it in, roll it, create the crown back, and it tightens the road up. And then that puts your water, like on Healy Road, we got that steep mountain where that slip is. I want them reprofiling is to change the profile of the road. I want them to bench that road towards the upper ditch so the water's going through the pipe and not running off of that lower side. And when a paved road, you can't take the grader up there and change your profile. You better grind it and do this. If not, uh, you can see different places going up that road where you're going to lose that road <clears throat> if something's not done. I don't know you see the state going on grinding these days. I don't know if it's it must be in the, uh, some, to some extent. No, they're using emulsion oil. Okay, we're, doing, we're just doing a, a refresh on full depth reclamation. When they do full depth, that's when they add the Portland cement. Uh, the other company I checked with was 84000 just for their equipment rental. What was the total on this one? I think it was around 70000 I gave you some right, prices. Right, right, I remember time. that. I can get it for you. 70. You want to do I'll entertain a motion. motion. Hmm? I'll entertain a motion. I'll, I'll move that uh, we approve the reprofiling re of Ely Road. Um, approximate cost of 70000 Yeah, I can get you a solid number tomorrow. I got it up at the well, building. I just we'll put an approximate cost of... Uh, is that the whole road or just that spot? Yeah, I got to do a split that road. Now, is this, is this a co-star type bid? Yeah, everything... Well, we already bid the stone. We already bid the oil. This is for the le this is for the labor and the that's complete. That's complete. Yeah. That that okay. So we have the oil price in the in the. Uh, yeah, everything we all, we've we already bid off everything of out. It costs ten thousand dollars a day just for the equipment rental. Mm -hmm. wow. How long is that road? That that's got to be over. It's a, mile. a little over a mile. It's a little over a mile. He said he can do that road in a day. Uh, and I don't, I don't have any statistics to prove it, but I'm going to guess it's one of the more traveled township roads. Yes, that's yeah, People cut, cut up over there. Yeah. Did you make a motion? Uh, yeah, I'm in motion. But we're in the middle of the motion. We, we, now, the, again, back to my question. It, whatever the labor ends up being, are we are we covered. Is there a co-star type thing, or or do we even have to? We're going to have to bid this. His equipment. His equipment rental is ten thousand a day. That's with the operator. Okay. Uh, we've already bid stone through the co-op. So we, how many work. days have we done? A day? He said he can have that done. What they got to do is, he said he can grind it in a day. And you've got more than one price, correct? Yeah. Or $10,000 $10, going to cover us. The other price was 84000 just to get the equipment onto the road, you know, to, to do the road. They were a little crazy. I yes. I need some advice from the solicitor on the legality. Now we're going to have oil. I wish I'd brought the paperwork with me. Did I give you the paperwork the last time on uh, profiling? It would have been from. Um, you may have. Well, we should look at the paperwork. Yeah, we should look at the paperwork. You might want to table that until the next one. Yeah, we table it. Maybe we ought to have a meeting between them because if we don't, then, if we don't then we're not going to. Won't get it done this year. Yeah, because they want to do that when they come down to our car <coughs> shipping. They actually got to do that seven days before they tar and ship down here. They, well, grind that they, they have they to be limited to one day, the ten thousand right. dollars, or you're going to get into right. a situation. What he told me is everything, co stars, right. you know, everything that he has is we don't have to bid it. Is what this guy uh, Ernie told me. <coughs> yeah, but the, the ten thousand for one day. I mean, if it's a day and a half, you're over the ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're over. Yeah. He's charged you ten thousand a day. He, he gave us a bid, so it's on his bid that that's what he has to do the road for. I either have the paperwork up at my building or Tammy has it. Well, we give a well, conditional, approval. conditional approval subject to reviewing those. Yeah. How long did he anticipate the job would take? One yeah. day. The entire job of reprofiling one day? Yes. Yeah. Right. 
Grind it up and put it down right behind the tree. Huh. Yeah, I, I would change the motion to, to make it a condition of approval upon it. On paperwork. Review of documents. Review of the documents. Make sure that they comply with yeah, the other media hands. Yeah, way much longer. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, well, I'll second it. I want to see that one in operation. Any questions? Okay, you vote, Dan? Yes. Doc? Wait a minute, I have a question here. Did you ask for questions? Yeah. yeah. He did, I'm but sorry. then they jumped. Yeah. All right. What about that area above? I know you're you're working on that slip down there. What about that area above Paul McCollins up there? Where there's probably, if you put a straight edge on it, it drops off six <laughs> inches on the right hand side in about three or four places. Is that going to take care of all of that? What they say. Okay. Just was wondering because there's, seems like if you do that up, there's a, you know. What they do is they grind it and they come in and with a grater, and that's what they yeah. create their profile with. And then okay. they want a sheep's foot over it, and then it's probably a smooth drum to take the sheep foot. If they, out. if they, grind that up out of there, it's going to take a lot of material to fill that back in where there's, where there's dips are in it. That's hey, the only question I have. I've seen it. I've talked to people with that. Well, if they grind flat, it won't even do the bottom of the... Yeah, it won't touch that. It won't yeah, touch it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 the dumps are in the floor. Are you voting? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Any other ones? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to approve the storage sheet metal bid for the heating and ventilation, the heating air conditioning ventilation system uh, for the second floor of the building so we can get the, uh, the room ready for possible occupancy by the uh, bid carrier. <coughs> the amount? Um, $10,600. Ten Ten seven is the number, huh? Yeah. 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 So, any questions? How you vote? Um. Second. Did you second it? I'm second. Yes. How yeah. you vote, Dave? Yes. Doug. Yes. Zach. Yes. Okay. Um. The. Uh, Lastly is the, uh, the renovation of the first floor hallway to go from the uh, double doors to the other double doors and make that very similar to what the other half of the hallway looks like. Um, with a, we have a bid book from... That's on the agenda here. It's on the agenda? Okay, mm -hmm. well then I'll hold it off then. Okay. So what condition do you have? That's it. Else on All right, financial report motion to approve the treasurer's report is presented. Hold on. Sorry. How do you vote? Yes. 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 Any old business? Uh, I don't have it. No previous table items. New business. <clears throat> the Planning Commission recommended approval of the zoning ordinance to ret be returned back to the Board of Supervisors for further action. Motion to forward the zoning ordinance on to Washington County for a 45-day review. I will make that as a motion. Um, I, I would like to modify the motion, though, to include uh, and also put out for public review. And again, isn't that required part of the public review process? 45 days. Yes, Are there 45, 45 days of Washington County planning, but the public, it's on our website. So that is available to the public. The most okay. recent draft with okay. the revisions that were recommended. Okay. Are you saying that constitutes the public review by being on the website? Yes. There will be a public hearing, which <coughs> will be noticed following to the public. The 40, following the 45 day review. Right. Correct. Correct. And then following the public okay. hearing, then what? And the board decides if they adopt that. Yeah, whenever well, he's done. I'll second. You vote, Dave? Yes. Doug? Oh, questions? questions? No. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Motion to public comment on order. items on the agenda. Point of order. By the way, the new draft is not on the website. Well, I don't care if you want them or not. I want to know 
Did you fix I believe, yes. the problems? Question. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait How about the desk thing, Doug? Do that. Was that you fixed? You tell them they can do what they can't do, Gary, at your job. Hold on. Let's, let's move on with this meeting in an orderly fashion. Uh, okay, I'm not out of order. At the beginning of the meeting, you had a place. I reserved my, I reserved my right. You can reserve your right. You do not have that right. Excuse me. You don't have the right you to give talk. It, you give it to me. You have a place at the end of the meeting that you can. No, you I reserved the right to speak on. Right. That's exactly what I did, you made, and you, you accepted you it. Made, you made no, we did. I said you could. On his motion. On your motion. motion. With regard I to didn't you. say my motion. I said I reserved the right to speak on motions as they come up instead of ahead of time. Now, no, wait a minute. So if anybody's out of order, it's you guys. I have a question. It, it, is this yeah, a change now? Because you were doing discussions after you. Wait, I got a question. You were doing discussion after you had a motion. What okay. happened to that? Yeah, what happened to that? Those were so you've changed the rules added, again? There were motions yes. added to the agenda. That's the reason why. No, I mean, yeah. up, to up until point, now, we've always for, been for, able for to. For weeks now, it. months now, you've been doing discussion after the motion. So, know right. so right. now right. you've right. rearranged the rules again? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not so many new rules. You did change that yes. to discuss as a Gary, <laughs> Mr. Sweat, get him in line. They're not in line. They changed the rules. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They ridiculous. said they were inviting public comment on agenda items. And you asked, aren't we going to have to, I'll reserve my right to talk after each motion. Right. And they said no. They said at the beginning, if it's on the agenda, go ahead and comment. And in your case, Doug said, well, let's let J.D. talk when his motion comes up because it concerns him. I said, That's I, I didn't I say specifically mine. I said, what good is going on now? Hey, hold, on, been hold on a second. I, I reserved the right when I stated that if you go back and play it back <coughs> on the motions as they are addressed, instead of jumping around and bouncing around doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but J.D., you can't determine that. The board has to determine okay, that. But you, you may have said, I reserve second, my right that's my to point. talk on each motion second. when the board sets when public comment Okay, is. And they've changed it now. they changed it for this meeting. How many times right? a year are we going to change it? Up until tonight, the format has been, they you changed it. You just made a motion yeah. to go to executive So we're session. now on, like, the fifth set of rules for the meetings and... Right Hold on a second. Is that it? Listen, they changed the format. You guys... Yeah. You guys... Good thing there. Hello! <laughs> Hello! They're going to an executive session to, to, to discuss executive litigation. Session. Guys, you changed the format to allow comment on each agenda item a while back. Now you're changing it without... They address it. Uh, you have to look at the facts yeah. of litigation. No matter, the problem is the zoning as well. Wow. And you have to stop wrong. wrong. You guys are a disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourselves. That's why they're out of here. You're a disgrace. Remember, rude, that's why unprofessional, why you're a disgrace. And you wonder why things are the way they are. Yeah, what? Tell everybody. And Gary, you need to get them in line because they're out of line, and you know. Calm down. I would calm down, calm except the bullshit uh, idiots. Okay. Say I mean, look at what they're doing. We got to try. He used the way it is because how they handle themselves in the meetings. They're changing the format. Take the red out of your face. I'll talk to you. You can't be yelling and screaming and calling idiots. You have to remember this. It's not going to solve the best way how they should and pay attention to the people instead of being rude. But he's there. He put a lot of names in there. That's why I wanted to look at it. I don't want to try it. Every time we have a meeting. I'll tell you what. I Look at it now. Just wait for six months. Yeah. 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 Keep it rolling. Yeah. 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 Yeah.